Meteor is a full stack JavaScript web framework. Uh, uh, that's, that means that uh, it works in the server, it works in the client, and it will use the, the data with MongoDB, okay? And you can use it in any in any of uh, OS, okay, for Linux, for OS X, Windows. And you only need to, to have Node.js and MongoDB. Okay, the, the best part of Meteor is that uh, it's simple and it's fast. It's really fast, okay? And it's simple because uh, only, uh, okay, for Linux, if you type this on terminal, you will well get yet Meteor. And you don't have to set anything, you don't need previous knowledge about, about Meteor, you just download it and you can work for it yet. And if you want to create a new project, you just type this line and there you are. You will have all the folders of the configurations, connection to database, everything. Okay, it's really, really simple. Uh, does anyone know what that, that means? Mean stack? Yeah, okay. That's a simple bundle, okay. Uh, you, can, you can see it's MongoDB, Express, Angular and Node.js. Node uh, Meteor, it's, uh, it's like mean stack, but not really, okay? It's, mean stack is just a bundle. You just decide for, uh, because they work very well together uh, to use these technologies for your project. But well, you have to build up the interaction, the connections, okay, everything. But it's not the same thing, okay? In fact, uh, Meteor uses MongoDB, Node.js, Angular Meteor uses to Angular, but it doesn't use Express, okay? Does anyone know what Express is? Yeah. No, okay, it's, it's just, sorry? Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's the middleware between uh, for Node.js and the client for web services and, uh, well, all the, um, the providing for the client from the server. Okay, it's not the same thing because this is the, the main difference, okay? You, you, if you want to use mean, mean stack, you just download uh, all, all these technologies uh, from on his website, and you have to build uh, all that interactions, or you have to build communication between clients and server. But Meteor yes, is just everything just for you. Everything you work in together, you don't have to worry about nothing. Okay, you just uh, install Meteor and you start to develop your own applications. Okay, so. Okay, this is a, a typical stack for, for a very, very simple Meteor project, okay. Uh, it uses MongoDB as source of that of data. Of course, you can use SQL or any, any other uh, database, okay, language, but, uh, but well, the, the, the simple Meteor uses MongoDB and that, make, that makes Meteor extremely fast, you know, because uh, uh, MongoDB is it's way faster than SQL, MySQL, for example, or what, or, or this, or the server. In fact, well, Meteor has, we said, uh, run over Node.js, okay? So you, you it uses Node.js for all the server communication and applications, and just JavaScript for the client. Uh, it gives you, a, it gives to the client a simple uh, library for JavaScript, for 
communications and interactions and just that. Okay. Uh, um, some of you have ever worked with MongoDB. Do you know what MongoDB is? But it's not Has you ever? Yeah. Okay. So for if someone has, doesn't know what MongoDB is, uh, it's no SQL, uh, not only a structured query language. Okay. Uh, well, it, it's, it's, uh, this is a typical. Uh, collection for MongoDB where you store data using JSON. Okay, um, as you say, it's not relational. You can, you you don't have to use this structure. For example, uh, you can use uh, any any kind of JSON structure with arrays and everything you want. But probably from my experience, uh, if with MongoDB and the kind of projects. Uh, you probably want to develop with Mongo, with Meteor. Uh, probably you're you're going to use uh, SQLite uh, collections. Okay. Well, uh, we say that Meteor is full stack framework, but uh, what about communications between clients and server? Uh, how can I develop that communication? How, how I said Meteor, Meteor has to pass some kind of information to the client. Okay, uh, the good, the very very good thing about about Meteor is that communication it's totally magic. Okay, uh, well, not really. Uh, it seems like magic some, some, some <laughs> a lot of times. Uh, you, uh, we are not talking about security, okay? This is another thing, but uh, we are talking about mm, sharing data between client and server, okay? Later we will talk about it. Uh, in fact, communication for Meteor, it's two technology. Uh, it uses two, two technologies: SOCKES for web sockets and like query uh, for synchronized data between database and clients. Okay. Uh, well, uh, regarding uh, oh, the security problems you can, you can have, you, you know, it Meteor only sends plain text. It doesn't have any kind uh, of a strong security for your application, but you can use uh, the package for Meteor, okay, it has a very, very strong community for this. Uh, this, is the, this is the main, so, okay, atmosphere.js.com. This is the main web page for downloading package. Uh, well, you can find there anything, anything for, for client, for the server side. Uh, it, it's really cool and it helps you a lot for prototypes or well, uh, simple applications, uh, what? It's really cool, okay, the package here. Um, and regarding this, uh, Angular Meteor is in fact a package for Meteor, okay? It, it have we said on the simple stack, uh, on the sim for Meteor, it uses uh, just JavaScript, okay? If, you, if we use this package, that we can install with this line of code. Oh, okay, so Meteor as Angular, we have yet this package. And it only adds for this stack, for the client, all the uh, Angular yes. Okay. So, uh, well, everyone knows what, <laughs> know what Angular GS is. Okay, everyone has agreed that is a very strong framework for client. But uh, Angular Meteor introduced a very cool concept. Okay, it's the three-way data binding. Everyone, does anyone know what's, what is two-way data binding? Okay, so everyone. Just from view to server. From between view and server is two-way data binding? 
Uh, well, no, it's a uh, two-way data binding for Angular is for, is for the client, for the view and, and for the controller. The, for the server, it's three-way data binding. That, that means that if you have uh, a, a single data on the database and you, you set that data for another value, the, the, that data will be synchronized act automatically with the client and with the view. Okay, it's truly cool. Uh, later we, we will uh, we will discuss about this. And uh, well, it, it uses a technology called DDP and two different databases. Uh, one for faster interactions on the on the client, and of course, uh, or the typical database on the servers. And with this technology, you will have synchronized both and the view with Angular and the two-way data, uh, data bindings. Okay. So with those two hops, yeah. uh, which of those comes from Meteor and which is added by Angular Meteor? Okay. Uh, in fact, it's the three. Okay. Uh, Meteor doesn't have uh, this technology, a, sing a simple Meteor application without wow. Angular, Meteor, okay. Angular has two-way data bindings, it's this kind of communication. Mm -hmm. Angular Meteor adds to the two-way data bind binding a third one with a database in both clients and server using this technology, okay. It's extremely cool. Uh, well, as we said, uh, Meteor is really, really simple. And this is a typical project st structure uh, for me, for in, well, we, we can tell, yeah, for Angular Meteor, okay. Uh, we have a folder with, with all the client code. We have a folder with all the server code. Uh, well, folder public for assets, uh, image, you know, all the, all the, the other things. And uh, another folder live for all this shared code, both for clients and server sites. Okay, we're talking, for example, uh, about um, collections. Collection that that, that means the, the concept of collections from MongoDB. Okay, everyone. So it's, uh, it used this this same concept for for using for clients and for server. You just type, uh, for example, the collection chat. Okay, so if you declare that collection here, you will have access from the client and from the server. The other thing for for that fold, for that folder, it's the methods. Okay, the, they are just. Um, public methods called from the client for the server, okay? Okay, this is, uh, this is the official example from the Angular Meteor website, okay? It's really, really good. It teaches you almost everything, not only for Angular Meteor, but the Meteor itself, okay? And it's, it's just a WhatsApp clone. Okay, so we are going to see that is simple. Yes. Okay. Let's. This is the terminal. Okay, so if we type, we have there. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. Okay. We have the terminal. If we type video. It will launch. Uh, the first time you, you you have to wait about five minutes, okay? Because it it has to download all the Node.js package. But I did it yet before, so we I don't think we don't have to waste so much time.
Okay, so oh, it's building. This is still building. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, you just you, you can see I just type meteor. I just go to the project folder and type meteor, and I have yet the proxy for the client and, and server communications uh, through the web sockets. MongoDB, it has its own MongoDB uh, database. And if we type get here, we can have access okay, to, the, to the application. Uh, if it uses uh, Ionic, does somebody work with Ionic? OK, it's just a, a library for mo mobile-like uh, applications, OK, from the web, for websites. Uh, OK, so this is just Angular, OK, this is no, this is just communication, so, so I used it before. So what I want to show you is how that three-way Binding works. So, okay, this is cool because uh, you can use a package for uh, mobile communications, and, uh, and well, you you can download a package for for SQL. You can download a package for MongoDB, and you can download a, a package for for sending SMS. Okay, for mobile, and this if you type here. Yes. Oh. Ah, so it's okay. okay, so it sent me there the code. And I confirm my phone number. And here we are. Now what? Uh, okay. So, if you you can see there my user, okay, and you know, have you seen that? We have yet. Oh, this is not. Ah, it's here, the contact. Uh, auto automatically, uh, uh, the system has uh, created a, a relation between my user and the Ignix user. And you have say how, uh, by magic, you, you have the chat on the list chat here. OK, so the three-way data binding works. Like, I, type, I, I send here a uh, plain text, OK, on the view. It, that plain text goes to Angular JS. Angular JS sends that that text to the server. The server automat automatically will be synchronized with every client that use want to get that that text, okay, that data, and it will show on all the other views. So, please. have you seen that? It's really cool. Okay, you can have, you can do a lot of a lot of really cool things with this. Okay, that's three way that I'm ending, and that world is really well uh, for for web apps. Okay, it's really cool. Are you using WebSockets. 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 Yeah, uh, it's uh, web. Uh, SOC GS, library SOC GS for this Sorry. kind of technology. Sorry. Because you're doing three way data binding, so, and there is the client database in between. But what is it exactly? On, uh, is it index DB or is it like browser based database? It's browser, it, it, it's, uh, it creates a simple, really simple browser based database, okay, for. Uh, uh, so you can be extremely fast for for the user, 
okay, and it continu continuously will synchronize that web browser database with the uh, real database. Okay, so now we are going to see how is how that look, looks like. Okay, oh, I don't bring my glasses. Sorry. So, okay. Can, can you see? Yeah. Uh, as I said, okay, we have there uh, this folder for the sh all the shared um, code for both uh, uh, server and clients. We only have to set what kind of collections we want. Okay, for example, here. It uses this is the entire project uh, from the from the meteor angular meteor example, okay. And we just set the their uh, chats and message and only declaring that variables oh this is not so sorry. Okay, here you are. This chat is the same chat that you are declaring here. This is Angular, Angular 2, sorry. So has, does anyone know what, how Angular 2 works? It's the same thing, okay, it's that <laughs> Angular. In, in, fact, in, in fact, this helpers is, is from Meteor, okay? It's, it's a directive for Meteor, uh, mm, for that, that three-way data binding, okay? Well, this is the client, chats.find, and on the server, the same chats, it's here, it, that we use for all the server-side uh, logic, okay? And this is the cool thing about this, okay? So if, for example, Yeah. And it was beautifully simple in comparison. <laughs> well, in, in fact, uh, Angular Meteor, it's Meteor for Angular developers. Let's be honest. Okay. Uh, it's true that, uh, for example, Meteor uh, doesn't have that three way data binding. And, uh, for example, uh, maybe you don't want that technology for some projects, but for web apps or what? Well, there is another kind of project that you can take a lot of advantage for this three-way data binding. Okay, it's it's true that well, in fact, a meteor, a simple meteor application, it's really simple. And if you add more packages, you is you make it more complex. No, I understand. So, there may be some great advantage. No, well, uh, you can you can still use a meteor, just meteor. But if you already know how uh, Angular yes works, uh, probably using, and you are a front-end developer and you uh, have a great idea and don't want to take care very much for the server side, probably Meteor is for you. Angular, sorry, Angular Meteor is for you, okay? And well, uh, I don't know, so as we say, well, everything is, you know, for the clean side, it's everything Angular. It doesn't have any any new thing about but helpers. Okay, it's just where where you set all these uh, media uh, collections. Okay, and uh, well, as we say in server, it's just you can just set uh, the bootstrap. Yes, that it's uh, that kind of code that just launched for the first time. Okay. Uh, well, ah, okay, this, uh, this is important. Um, you can uh, set two different filters uh, for this collection. The first one uh, comes from the server, okay? You maybe don't want to everyone know, let know how, what kind of message 
you have, and if you don't do anything about it, uh, everyone can access to that, to that information. So you can add on the, ser on the server side the first filter. Okay, so when anyone asks about all the chats, it will, it, oh, sorry, this is not, it will add only the chats for the user. Okay, this is for, for the server side, the first filter. The first filter. And then, uh, well, simple than that, and on the client side, you can add a second filter for, for more, for be more concrete, okay, about this information. For example, you can uh, well, find this chat, okay. Uh, well. Okay. Ah. Well. well, all this entire uh, WhatsApp clone application, uh, it has uh, image upload, it has a session layer, it has uh, server, server and client communications, it has uh, a lot of feature. It's made only in 7086 line of GS. Okay, that's about two JavaScript, two Java classes. Okay, so it's really cool that you can have uh, doing so many uh, a, a really a really big application. Okay. Well, and the last one, the deploying. Okay, you can use. Now it's not free. Now you have to pay about for this, but the World Meteor offers you hosting, okay? So you can just uh, type, a, type a line to deploy to Meteor, and, it, and it give, Meteor.com gives you your own hosting for your application, but you have to pay up for it, okay? And well, the, the other approaches, okay, is making your own server. Uh, you can do it manually. Okay, a manual deploy, or you can use it, a package called MeteorUp. Okay, and you just need on your server PN2 for making Meteor running engines. No, web, web services. Okay, not GS, of course, and MongoDB. You just need that. You launch Meteor, and it works. Okay. Uh, why should I use Meteor for my application? Okay, this is, this is my personal uh, pros and cons, okay, for Meteor. Uh, of course, you can speak with, talk to anything, uh, to anyone, and it will tell you another, another different pros and cons. But well, uh, the good thing about Meteor, Meteor it's, it's only one language for the entire stack, okay? It's JavaScript. Communication is magic. It's really magic. It's really cool. Uh, everything is extremely fast. Okay, and we're react reactive data sources. It well, it, it was what we talked uh, before about uh, the three-way data binding and all this. Okay, uh, why I I don't like Meteor for everything. Okay, well, uh, it doesn't have an official t testing framework. Okay, it's um, sometimes if you if you build a really well, if you want to be a mm, big project, you probably want to make uh, some testing. Okay, it's it's the good one. So if you can do a lot of different packages and uh, well, a lot of tools, but Meteor doesn't offer uh, an official testing framework, okay? Uh, it's not the best, the best tool for scaling, okay? You, uh, it, this is the, the worst. That doesn't mean that Meteor doesn't scale, okay? So, but if you want to build the next Facebook, probably you will have problems with, with Meteor. But uh, think about that 7,000 700 lines of codes, and how much time you 
you will save building a prototype of your idea and how much would you will learn for what well, the next step.